This video will illustrate how to rationalize a binomial denominator. But first, a reminder. When we multiply these two expressions, we get 3 times 3 in a radical, minus 7 root 3, plus 7 root 3, minus 49. Simplifying, this becomes root 9. These two terms cancel, and we have minus 49. The square root of 9 is 3, 3 minus 49. Our answer is negative 46. I'd like to point out that the first terms in these two binomials are the same. And the second terms are also the same. One binomial has a minus sign and the other binomial has a plus sign. This should remind us of the difference of squares that we get when we work with polynomials and factoring. But the most important thing to notice is that the answer to this type of multiplication does not have a radical in it. That means that when we multiply a binomial with a radical by itself, but with the sign in the middle changed, we'll end up with an expression that doesn't have a radical. And this is very useful when we are rationalizing a binomial denominator. Let's move on to a fraction that has a binomial denominator that has a radical. We are going to multiply both top and bottom of this fraction with the binomial 12 plus root 5. Same first term, same second term, opposite sign. On the top, root 3 times 12 is equal to 12 root 3. And root 3 times root 5 is equal to root 15. On the bottom, 12 times 12 is 144. 12 times root 5 is plus 12 root 5. Negative root 5 times 12 is minus 12 root 5. And negative root 5 times positive root 5 will give a negative answer and we will have the square root of 5 times 5. Now we have 12 root 3 plus root 15. We have the 144. The minus 12 root 5 and plus 12 root 5 cancel. And we have minus the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5, so we have 144 minus 5. We're nearly finished. We have 12 root 3 plus root 15 over 139. There is no cancelling opportunity, so we are finished. Let's look at another example. Here we have root 7 plus 2 in the denominator, so we are multiplying both top and bottom by root 7 minus 2. The top gives us 7 root 7 minus 14. In the bottom, root 7 times root 7, I'll write it as root 7 times 7. The outside, root 7 times negative 2 is minus 2 root 7. The inside, 2 times root 7 is plus 2 root 7. And finally, 2 times negative 2 is minus 4. We have 7 root 7 minus 14 as a numerator. The square root of 7 times 7 is the square root of 49. Minus 2 root 7 plus 2 root 7 cancels, and we have minus 4. The square root of 49 is 7, so we have 7 minus 4 in our denominator. And finally, 
7 minus 4 is 3, so our final answer is 7 root 7 minus 14 as the numerator over 3 the denominator.